Hello Libra, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend, sorry, your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you, okay, so we got some issues about, honesty. I feel like somebody either came out and told you something, or you're just in dire need of somebody to be honest about something that you find found out, okay? So, let's get this show on the road, okay? Make sure to check your sun, moon, your rising signs. What's going on for the Libra? Libra, 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 for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. What's going on? With the Libra, October 2nd, 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 2nd through 9th, 2017. Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, so something about something being said. I uh, feel like somebody's been saying something over and over and over. Or maybe calling somebody over and over and over. Okay, yeah. So, it seems like maybe you've been calling somebody and they're getting pissed off. Or somebody's been calling you and you, you've been getting pissed off. Okay. Oh, Okay, so it seems like the reason why the other person is getting pissed off is because they what they ex. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so they're they're definitely letting you know that they're pissed off. I feel like you are trying to tell them something, like you just relay a message of how you feel, and it's just pissing them off because they what they ask, but they don't want you to know that, you know. All right, okay, so it seems like you are definitely getting ready to find this out. I feel like, yeah, uh, oh, I feel like they might pick up or I feel like this person is going to straight up tell you, like, stop doing this because I'm with so-and-so. All right, we got a flyer. All right, so, yeah, it's basically like uh, keep going. It seems like. This is a situation that might have been over, and it seems like you might want to leave this one alone, Libra. What's going on with the Libra? Libra love reading. One more, one more. Libra love reading to October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Okay, so it's like, yeah, it's making me feel like whatever you thought, whatever they told you, it wasn't right. They lied. I feel like they lied about where they were going and they really actually went about the ex. I feel like you really believed them of what they said they was going to do, but it wasn't true. All right. So it's basically saying whatever uh, it, the better things are coming out of this situation, you know, everything is going to get better. All right. So Cleo cards. I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I read these straight off the book to ensure you get your full message. All right. What's going on with the Libra, Libra, Libra? Libra, Libra, what's going on with the Libra love reading for October 2nd through 9th, 2017? Libra love reading. October 2nd through 9th, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Alright, yeah, so somebody waiting for somebody to communicate their love. I feel like this is you trying to contact this person, calling them over and over, and then them not giving you any answer on what's going on. Jeez. All right, so we got the sun card. All right, yeah, so it's basically, oh, wow. For some of you, this person is going to come back after all this, and and y'all got y'all going to re reconcile and, and be happy. That's, a, that's what this says to me. Something that was lost will be found and everything will be happy. All right. Mm, but they, you know they're going to do it again. <laughs> but, or they know you're going to do it again, whatever way. 
Okay, yes. Yeah, so the reason why this person isn't expressing the love to you because they with that third party. They could be dealing with a, uh, a sign. So it seems like, wow. Um, This makes me feel like that you choosing not to uh, look at this. You're not ready to cross that road, you know? Sorry, guys. All right. Yeah, but you may possibly be dealing with a... Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. This is a um, water sign energy, but may not be a water sign because it's a general reading. Okay, yeah. Like I said, the same thing. It's saying the same thing over the secret is this person is with this third party. And I feel like it's going to... That is probably a um, water sign. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like this person is taking advantage of you because you're nice and sweet. Or it could be the other way around. All right? It's like one other person is being all nice and sweet and the other one being aggressive. It's like, oh, you making me do this? And you believe in it. All right, so let's read these cards. So first, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups says, um, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making the change, okay? So it's basically time to let this one go. All right, so we got the Three of Cups, and this says, uh, three of, nope, geez, I'm about to read the three of swords. That's what I feel like from this reading. All right, um, we got the three of cups. A problem has been solved, and it is now time to celebrate, enjoy the moment. Favorable outcome is predicted. I feel like this is for you guys who is going to catch this person, and they're going to be good for a little while, and then it's going to restart, you know, if you read it this way. And then we got the high priestess. And this is something is hidden, something is being kept secret, possibly by a female. Double check all information, something is still hidden. Mysterious event, especially supernatural, may occur. So I feel like this is somebody is in their senses about what's going on. You can feel when somebody cheating on you. You can feel when somebody is doing you wrong. So it's basically basically like listen to your intuition, okay? So we got the queen, 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 queen of cups. All right, so the queen of cups says, um, indicates a person or situation where devotion and love are present, may indicate the presence of paranormal abilities. So it seems like, I don't know, like if this person really, really, really is in love with um, you or you them. <laughs> I don't know, I really don't want to say this, but it seems like somebody may even be trying to summon some kind of spirit to let this person love them, you know what I'm saying? Maybe using, I mean, just because both of these together, you know, paranormal abilities, you know, or this could be your senses are at like at an all-time high and you like can actually feel what's going on with this person, but I don't know. You tell me. That's all I have for you guys. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.